I don't really see any possible way to defend this at all. This was not beauty. This is not good. This is mocking the Catholic faith. No question about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and today we're going to be talking about Megan Fox and her husband, fiance, I don't even know, Machine Gun Kelly, just completely mocking the Catholic faith. Completely, 100% demonic, satanic, disgusting. What they did was absolutely disgusting and they both are parents and this is just horrible what they have done and they have made a mockery of our faith and the most important aspect of our faith, which is the Blessed Sacrament. Would they ever do this to Islam? I doubt it. Okay, they just canceled the Kanye West and perhaps rightfully so, I don't really know, but he would made some very hideous, disgusting, anti-Semitic comments. I think what they did to our faith is just as absolutely, completely and utterly disgusting and they have not been canceled. You gotta remember, Megan Fox has been in the public eye since she was 15 years old. She's been in all these Michael Bay movies, everything crazy like that. She's always been super gorgeous and always using her sexuality, whatever movie I've seen her in, to play a character. I've never seen her play a character where she is not using her sexuality. That being said, I haven't seen that many of her movies, but still, it's just, that's who she is. That's how she gets attention. And of course, you know, people talk about white privilege and all this stuff all the time, but they're definitely, without a doubt, there's pretty privilege. Without a doubt. I mean, I have seen it myself. I used to weigh significantly more and then I weighed a lot less and I started wearing makeup and doing my hair and I realized people treated me differently. There is pretty privilege out there. There's no doubt about it. And then there's even hot privilege, which is what she has. And people treat her differently because she is the way that she is and she leans into it. Of course, you know, you don't have to lean into being a sexual icon, a sex icon like she does, and she does. And that is why she is treated differently. And that is what she has based her career on to a certain extent. Ugh. She did this for attention. Why else would you do this? She did this for attention. I don't know if she's demonic or not. This is so disgusting. Usually I would defend someone and say, I don't think they had any bad intentions. Like when Kourtney Kardashian wore that wedding dress, she looked beautiful and was displaying Our Lady of Guadalupe in a beautiful lace way. Like it was beautiful. However, you know, there is the case that she was mocking Catholics because she is not a Catholic and she wanted the beauty of the church without putting in the sacrifice. You can watch that video right here. However, Megan Fox was taking the beautiful part of the Catholic faith and making it satanic. I don't know if maybe she's getting older and she's looking for new ways to shock people and get attention. This has been going on forever. Before I was born, there was Madonna and she would be gyrating around on you, you, crucifixes and doing disgusting things like that to the to the Catholic faith. There's been all these examples of art throughout history mocking the Catholic faith and everything like this. This is nothing new. Mocking the Catholic faith is nothing new. But I looked at her Instagram and I actually had several friends who follow her. She's got 20 million followers on Instagram as of today when I was checking this. So I looked at the pictures on her Instagram and it looks like her most recent, I did not do a lot of research. I didn't really want to look at her Instagram for that long. Her most recent pictures seem to get between 5,000 to 15,000 comments. This Instagram post got 43,000 comments. And I can tell you, I did not see a single positive comment about this picture. I'm sure she relishes in that. I don't think she wore this costume for people to say, oh my God, you look so beautiful or anything like that. And she wanted it to be controversial. We all, we all know that she did this for attention. All I'm gonna say is this does give me hope because all of the comments were negative and people were literally writing. I mean, like here, you can read some of them right here that they weren't even Catholic and they were they were defending the Catholic church that this is this has gone too far. I'm just so disgusted, but we gotta realize why this is disgusting to us. This is disgusting to us as Catholics, or if you're not Catholic, this is just, this is a distortion of a religion. And as Catholics, this is the cornerstone of our faith. The most important part of our faith that separates us from all the Protestants and everything else is the fact that Jesus is present in the Eucharist and we are intimate with him every time we receive him. And this is what they're literally portraying. They are portraying intimacy with Christ in a satanic way. It's so disgusting. But why does God allow this to happen? It's so that we have free will. 
that's the beautiful thing about being a human is we have free will to choose sin or choose Christ. It's also the truth, guys. The devil hates the truth and he hates he hates our faith so much. And he gets a foothold into certain people like he gets a foothold into everybody. He tries to get a foothold into everybody. We, celebrities especially he's going to prey on. That's why I think it's I do think it's so important to pray for celebrity priests and uh, Catholic celebrities. Not you know, they're not really celebrities, just big influential Catholic people, especially the Pope. We need to pray for these people so much. No matter what you think of the Pope, we need to pray for him so much because the devil has got to be attacking him so badly because he has such a, an influence over other people and and so do his celebrities. So he's, the devil's working overtime, I think, on Megan Fox, and she is welcoming it in this picture. And even if she did not want to praise Satan with this picture, even if she doesn't believe the devil exists, even if she doesn't believe God exists, she did this and she knew she would hurt us who actually believe in this. She, she knew she was hurting us. She doesn't care. I'm gonna be tempted by the devil. Lord, help me in times of doubt, okay? We, we've gotta pray for the Lord to help us in times of doubt. I mean, I, I don't know if you can tell. Look at this, I'm not looking great right here. I have had so much trouble sleeping the last week. I've been taking a lot of medication to help myself sleep. It's gotten, my sleeping problems have gotten much worse and I am just filled with anxiety um, when I'm trying to sleep. It's, it's, it's very painful. And I, I try and listen to some meditate, some Catholic meditation, some regular meditations. The devil's working on us all. The devil's trying us all. So just remember, and, and I have trouble trusting God sometimes when I'm, I'm, I'm having these problems sleeping. Because it's just, and then I wake up and I'm totally fine and I love God and I trust in God again. But then when I'm trying to fall asleep, it's, it's when it's I'm most vulnerable and I'm having the most doubts about my faith. That being said, I love Halloween. You can see my Halloween lights are still up over there and also some of my roommate's laundry. Sorry, Ashley, I have that up. I mean, I love Halloween so much, you guys. I'm sorry I didn't have time to do a video on Halloween this year. Hopefully next year I'll do it. Follow me on Instagram at Catholic Catherine if you do not. That is where I post a lot of uh, more daily content and things like that. Also, please, can you give this video a thumbs up if you agree? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this whole topic of satanic costumes. It's so disgusting. But um, yeah, if you guys could really subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out the algorithm. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I know I've been a little slow. I haven't had a video out in a week. I have just been, I've been so tired. I've been so busy, but hopefully I'm able to get more content out to you guys because I really enjoy doing these YouTube videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please remember in your times of doubt, please pray, please pray for these celebrities and these Catholic, big Catholic figures that they are able to resist Satan's attacks because they are attacking them badly, you guys. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.